Jason Go White, and around they Down go. The that will bring the caution out as Joey Coulter goes flying into the catch pitch just past the start finish line, and that will mean John King will win you at Daytona. John, you just won Daytona. You come here, get this checkered flag. That's the all yellow yours right there, my friend. And the checkered. Get that checkered flag. Okay. John King, a winner at Daytona International Speedway. What about yeah? Well, oh, turn, crash, and turn one and two. Into the wall. Kelly Byers in the 88 from Junior Motorsports. Okay. okay. You had see a, the rotor, brake rotor coming apart there. Had a great run last week when he was at Five, California. Now we broke stuff in the right front or flew off or something. Went straight in the wall. Said, bro so broke something, went straight to the wall. He was 11th at the time of the crash. Well, you see some of these parts that are smoking. That's part of the brake rotor. Uh, that could have happened after the crash and likely did happen after the crash. Looks like that right front tire is down, though. It could have uh, hey, run over something. Stopped. It started smoking before it got to the corner. Uh, it didn't just all come at once there. It stopped now. There's definitely a trail of water or something coming out of the back of it. It felt like maybe something broke. That looked like a tire going down, but it's hard to say right there. Yeah, that didn't look like he was loose or nothing like that. Just went straight up. He from 13th place. From there, I know he had, he had had some damage on both sides of the car. Didn't know if he had a tire rub or not. Oh, he got a little help. He got a lot of help. Left first blew, flat. Blew, yeah, but I think it could have been from that contact. I need to look at it again. Yeah, the tire right looks okay right there. Let's see if maybe the splitter co Oh, oh see, they pushed the yep. fender into the tire. It's a good catch, Alan. That left rear quarter panel hit that tire, blew it out right there at that shot. That's, that was the problem. Like a knife right up in that left rear, blew it out immediately, cut it right down. Yeah, uh, the first time we got uh, moved up into the wall by the 99. I don't know why he drove us in there, and then, uh, you know, we got damage from that. But, uh, yeah, it got flat out dumped. I uh, don't know what else to say. I mean, the 16 just put us in the wall and, and uh, turned us back around. It's a shame. I knew we had a good piece. Uh, Turner Scott Motorsports did a great job of giving us a great car. Um, it's a shame that we get dumped like that, but uh, no respect for the driver. I mean, that's just what he, what he drives like. Chase Miller on the track now in the 46 car. Got to race his way in on time. Oh, there he goes. Oh. No, that's not good. He's not going to save that one. Oh, that's oh. a hard lick. A hard lick right there. Look out on pit road. Wow. So turn Winning four. it down. That's yes. good. Very good. Turn that's four proves very tough for Chase Miller. But see him moving around inside the car. And yeah, that sign, he puts that window net down. That's his sign to the, the safety personnel that he is okay. They say to put it down if you're okay and leave it up if you're not. That way they know. Just jumping out. And that's good to see. Not happy. He is not happy. And I can't blame him. Now this thing just jumps out so far that he just can't quite get it saved and it sends him through the grass. Chase Miller released from the infield care center. Walking fine. How are you feeling? Um, you know, physically I'm doing fine. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I hate it for, uh, for ourselves, Key Motor Sports and everybody out here. Brad Coleman is just leaving pit road after repairs to the 18 car from one of the most bizarre things we've probably seen in a little while at a road course. It's very bizarre. Watch this. He tries to overtake the 16 at Colin Braun that gets a rear bumper bar jammed in his brake rotor and his left front tire locks it up. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Looks like he's got a spear stuck in that thing. And now look at this. Left front tire completely locked up because of the bar. Has to drag the thing off. Oh, hang on to it, Barney. Hang on to it, Barney. Oh, that's a hard impact right there, guys. Well, he did. If you're going to hit it, he did get the safer barrier. He did do that. But before uh, it started to narrow toward the exit of the corner. But wow. I'll be interested to see whether or not he just lost it or if maybe there was still a little bit of fluid left on the racetrack that got overlooked by the safety crew. But he got down that corner and around she went, Harmony. Yeah, I mean, you, we've seen this a couple of times. They're down real close to the white line, but he's well above, uh, you know, the apron when that happens. And it comes around in a big hurry, Jeff. Big time. I mean, it, and again, that's backup written all over it. And unfortunately for Bernie Lamar, 
And the, the tires look up. I would have thought the way that car snapped around, Jeff, that he might have cut down a tire, but they looked like they were up as he drove away. No, it just, it just nope. car just stepped out on him. It really did. And, and like what Hermie said, I mean, when it comes around that quick, I mean, we got it in slow motion right there so you can get a good look at it. I mean, it was just like snap of the fingers around it came, but you can clearly see all four tires are up on the 10 car. And keep in mind, race time is just three hours away. I mean, again, that's, that's a tough... He just gets a run there. He gets a big run on the uh, 46 car, and he tries to move to the outside and makes contact with Jamie McMurray. Boy, and I tell you, I was looking at the end of pit road there. Thought he was going to catch the end of that wall, but uh, stayed off of it. Now, Montgomery is still on the lead lap, and NASCAR will open the pits for a quickie yellow. That means not just lead lap cars, but all cars are eligible to pit as soon as the pits open. And then we go back. Kyle Busch takes the lead. Earnhardt Jr. thinks about looking out of the inside. We'll stay back up in front of Jason Lepp. Trouble off turn two. 61 cars, California driver Brandon Carson's Whitt. out, Carson's out, Carson's out. Right rear tire down. Here now we'll get four tires on you. Uh, probably limp for your damage, I believe. Third caution flag of the day, and um, damage on the back of his four. That lead draft had just started to get organized on uh, who was going to be where. Organized for the time yeah. being. Yeah, they're yeah. going to have to start.